Welcome back folks. We have finished Psalm 139. This is a new day. We are going to read Psalm 140 today. It's a beautiful day. I just thought it's set up by this little creek. Hopefully my dog doesn't knock over the camera, but we'll see. Take it as it comes. Psalm 140. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man, which imagine mischiefs in their heart continually are they gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent, adders. Poison is under their lips, Selah. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man who have purposed to overthrow my goings. The proud have hid a snare for me and cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set gins for me, Selah. I said unto the Lord, Thou art my God, hear the voice of my supplications, O Lord. O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked, further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves, Selah. As for the head of those that compass me about, let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits that they rise not up again. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor. Surely the righteous shall give thanks. Unto thy name the upright shall dwell in thy presence. That was Psalm 140. We continue with Psalm 141. Lord, I cry unto thee, make haste unto me. Give ear unto my voice when I cry unto thee. Let my prayer be set forth before thee as essence, and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to any evil thing to practice wicked works with men that work iniquity. And let not me not eat of their dainties. Let the righteous smite me. It shall be a kindness. And let him reprove me. It shall be an excellent oil which shall not break my head for yet my prayer who shall be in night in their calamities when their judges are overthrown in stony places they shall hear my words for they are sweet our bones are scattered at the grave's mouth as when one cutteth and cleaveth wood upon the earth when my eyes are unto thee O God the Lord in thee is my trust leave not my soul destitute keep me from the snares which they have laid for me and the gins of the workers of iniquity. Let the wicked fall into their own nets, whilst that I withal escape. That was Psalm 141. We continue now with Psalm 142. I cried unto the Lord with my voice. With my voice unto the Lord did I make my supplication. I poured out my complaint before him. I showed before him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. In the way wherein I walked, have they privily laid a snare for me. I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. Refuge failed me, no man cared for my soul. I cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry, 